Hey everyone, my name is Rochelle Topkis and today I'm going to show you how we created our workplace micro app. I'm going to start by adding an integration and this will be an HTTP web service. I'll give it a name. For the base URL, since we are using ServiceNow as a system of record for one of the pages, I'm going to make that the base URL. And ServiceNow uses basic authentication. I'll enter my username, password, and go ahead and add the integration. All right, great. So before adding pages, we need at least one table. So for that, I'm going to add a data endpoint. And this will just be for the ServiceNow incidents. We won't really be using um, this data endpoint, but we do need it so we can start making our pages. So the endpoint is slash incident to get requests, and I'm going to test it. You can see we get a 200 back. We can view the response and see all the fields for each incident. And then from that data, we want to load um, the data structure for our table. This first one is empty. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And we will keep this one since there's actually fields in here. And I'm going to add it. All right, great. So now we can go ahead and create our micro app and start adding our pages. So I'm going to add a micro app. Let's rename this to Fort Lauderdale for our Fort Lauderdale office. And I'll choose an icon and save it. So, so we're going to have two pages. The first page will be our dashboard page well, where we see the image of the office and the buttons. And then the other page we need is for ServiceNow. So someone can fill out the ServiceNow form and submit an incident. So I'm gonna name this first page dashboard. We're gonna select the incidents data table and it's a detail page. And I'm going to add it. So the first thing I'm going to add is a static image with our picture of the Fort Lauderdale office. This is a URL for our image that we just uploaded to GitHub. So it's a public URL that we can use here. See, maybe you want to make this a little smaller and center it. And now to add our buttons, first we're going to add a flexible grid component to style them a little better. We're going to say this is four by one. And I'm going to drag my first button component into my grid. This first button will be to find a place. And the action will be go to URL. And the URL for finding a page is this one right here. This just links to a separate web app, web app that has our maps, our campus maps loaded. So I'm going to use that here for this button. Our next button will be similar. It will be find a person. And for that, it is the same URL, points to the same map. After that, we will have a button for our cafe menu. This is the URL to our cafe menu. So say cafe menu plus order. The action will be go to URL. And also we want to make sure that 
this is not checked because these are not page action buttons. We actually want these to be part of um, the page, not the footer. Okay, our next button is for the cafe cam. This is where we can see how long the line cam is in the cafeteria. Then we have another button that will be to submit an incident. So this is the one we'll be using ServiceNow as a system of record. For the action, we want this to go to a new page. So this is going to take us to a form that the user can fill out to submit their incident. So for that, I will need to create a new page, which I'll be doing in a second, but let's add these other buttons first. Community events. Go to URL. And the last button is our weather cam. So this is just um, an internal HTML page we have um, hosted where you can see the weather. Okay, perfect. Now let's go back to the submit incident. We want to create another page for that. Call this submit incident. And this is going to be a form. And we're going to select the incidents table. I'm going to add a grid component. And <clears throat> what we want is two number two number inputs. So one will be for the urgency. I'm going to make that required. I'm going to add another number input, which will be for the impact, also required. Then we need a select box, which will be the incident type or the category. We can just add a few options here. So we can say network, which is not having issues with the network. We say security. And let's do one more, just Outlook. You can see I populated our, phone, our select box. And we also want a text area. I'm going to do this outside of the grid. So this will be our short description. Also, I forgot to make this optional to make this required. Sorry. And then lastly, we want a button. This button will be, when we click it, it will submit our incident and add it into ServiceNow. And this is actually gonna run a service action. Right now we don't have any service actions. Let's see here, the workplace, it's empty. So what we have to do is now we need to go back to our integration, edit it, and go into service actions, add a service action. This is what will actually submit our incident. We have to add our four parameters, so urgency. These match up to what I just entered um, in the form. Impact. Short description. And then cap. 
we'll see that all of these are required. And this is a post request to the incident endpoint. And as a body, it's going to be JSON data. Have some JSON data here, which is like a template. I also need to add these parameters to urgency. Impact. Short description. And category. So these values will map to what the user enters into the form and will fill in the template where you see these curly braces. All right, looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. Now we can go back to our micro app. Go to that submit incident page we created and hook up the button to that service action. We can edit the parameters. So the four form fields are going to match up to urgency, impact, short description, and category. And we're going to say it's coming from the component values. Urgency, impact, short description, and category. All right, perfect. So let's go back to our dashboard page. And we want to connect the submit incident button to that new page. So we're going to say our action when that button, button is clicked, it's go to page. And that page is submit incident. Perfect. All right, so let's test out the micro app we just created. If I go into my workspace, you can see we have this Fort Lauderdale action that we just created. We also have our cafe menu. Cafe Cam, Submit Incident, let's fill out Urgency, Impact, choose a category, a short description, and then it click Submit. And then we can check our service now in instance to see if this actually worked. Here it is, it did create our incident service now. Looks good. That's it. That's how we created our workplace micro app.